Okie dokie karaoke. Back for part 14? 13? Number um, of Star Ocean. Some Star Wars. Star Ocean Divine Force. Is part 14. And uh, we're standing right here in front of the king. We we're going to go talk to him and maybe try and find a way to help Theo get out of the dungeon. Again, if it takes too long, I'm just not going to do it. He's probably an optional character or something like that along the way. Um, our goal is to beat the game, so we're going to we're going to do that. Let's see what we can do. You will always have a home here. Yours. I am here in regards to Cousin Theo. You would see him released, I presume? Yes. It would serve greatly to have aid of one familiar with ongoings of the worlds above. Lola led our foes, but is she not now offered some freedom in return for her allegiance? You must see the disparity twixt their crimes. Twix. Even were our people to forgive his transgressions, I do not believe Theo would forgive himself. That may well be true. I do not believe forgiveness alone will suffice. Hmm? His guilt will not relent until he hears from the very people he believes himself to have betrayed. Not only his royal majesty and Captain Bertrand, but the knights who refused to side with the duke during the coup as well. Hmm. Wise words. What you ask for, however, is no mere pardon, Leticia. But there may yet be hope. Give it time for now. I don't have time. These are official royal orders. They command Theo to aid you in whatever you might ask. I do not imagine this alone will suffice. Nor is it meant to. Three others are to sign these orders. Each a representative of those impacted by his transgressions. I ask you first seek Malthea, a director of the Semiomancy Consortium. A letter addressed to her is included therein. Malthea shall come to her own decision in regards to Theo. Very well, father. And the remaining two? Malthea herself shall inform you of the second. And they the third, I imagine. Once you have acquired the signatures, Theo may be compelled to action. Oh, I pray it be so. Thank you for this, father. Thank you. For Young Theo may well be the first and longest suffering victim of this conflict. See the boy saved from that our kingdom has wrought upon him. Okay, okay, okay. Is there aught left I can No. We should rest There's nothing can. you can do. Except for beat the game. That's all you can do. Save the world. Oh, Lola. Here. That contains data on the fight between the Scorpion battleship and Lieutenant Kenny's vessel. You should be able to access it from the Vergoldian ship. I'm not sure it will help, but take it with you. Uh, Lola, will you not... Will you not come with us? No, I cannot. I need to remain here. Make sure no one from Osiris or Vale misuses the Tyrannus. Just in case. Yeah, just in case. It was also decided I'd be helping Captain Bertrand with the post-war recovery efforts. Uh, you have my thanks. And my uh, axe. Lola? I'm sorry. I know that I have no right to ask you to help them. But... But... You mean Valange and Gaston, yes? I beg of you. I beg of you. I cannot make such a promise. However, I can tell you that I do not wish to see another life lost needlessly. Please, put your faith not in me, 
but in them. <laughs> Thank you. Princess. Princess. The courtyard. I thought we said we were supposed to go somewhere. Courtyard. Not in the middle of people. <laughs> Oh, maybe they're just waiting for me to join. That makes sense. Hey, you guys. It looks as if all are present. We've been waiting for you. Everyone is ready to depart. Leticia, you ready to roll on your end? Ray, yes. We have assembled everyone. All right, I'll initiate the transfer. Get somewhere you won't be seen. So, uh, uh, now all we do is wait? I believe so. Oh! Ah! Welcome to my humble abode, your highness. Ray, this is your ship? <laughs> Not so different from the Tyrannus, huh? But it is so different. There are so many lights. Ah, well, this ship is up and running, I guess. Antonio, I give you Princess Leticia. I am Leticia Austerius. Thank you. Once again. A pleasure, Princess. I'm Antonio. Raymond, you've been traveling with such a stunning beauty this whole time? Oh, well... <laughs> All right, everyone. Let's make for the bridge. We'll be taking off soon. See that? There's your planet, Leticia. Aster 4. That is... our planet? Our world? To think all of our struggles have taken place in such a minuscule space makes one feel insignificant. Yes, but it is so very beautiful. No doubt about it. Right then. I suppose we'd best get going. Elena, Chloe, Miss Kenny. Roger. It's been so long. I'll, uh, do my best. We're counting on you, Aldous. Chloe, get us out of orbit. Keep thrusters at one-fourth power. Exiting orbital trajectory. Thrusters at one-fourth power. We have exited orbit, now entering conventional space. All systems, green. Right then. I guess our first priority is to chase that ship carrying Boldor and the others. I hope you're not intending to engage them. The Aldus won't stand a chance. Oh, yes, Ray. Here. This is from Lola. It is a record of the battle between the Scorpion battleship and the Akizuki from the Tyrannus. She hopes it will prove useful. Much appreciated. Okay, let's get this analyzed quick. I have no intention of taking them head on. All right. If we compile this data first, we might at least be able to figure out where the hell that battleship is headed. Under normal circumstances, it would likely be their homeworld. It may be safe to assume they are returning there. No such location that would correspond with the concept of a homeworld exists within Scorpium. Is that so? Scorpium is a collective of life that forms a network which spans the galaxy, with enormous spaceships traveling between artificial colonies and space stations. Well, couldn't those be considered their home planet? No. In this particular instance, all the bases and ships are also part of the overall Scorpium life form. 
That is correct. Hmm. So, you got any idea which one of these massive life forms they might be headed to then? The man known as Gaston contained many factors that differ from the current state of the Scorpion. Thus, the accuracy of any predictions we make will be low. Hey, hey, okay. Are you really telling me we don't have any leads right out of the gate? I mean, can't we use our long-range sensors to pick up their trail? Yeah, they're already way out of range of our sensors. Ah, <sighs> for crying out loud. Oh, oh, what's that? Okay, take it easy. It's the sensors picking something up. It might even be them. Chloe? No, it's a Federation ship. They're approximately 36 hours away. A Federation ship. They may be coming to apprehend Sayuri and I. All right, it doesn't look like they're heading for Aster. Hmm. Want to test our luck and try to make contact? Hmm. Unlike the Astoria, they are making no effort to conceal themselves. At this distance, the Aldus should be able to outrun them as well. Not so sure about this. Chances are they picked up our signal already. It'd be more risky to just sit around and do nothing. Ant, patch the signal through open comms. Roger that. Opening a line of communication. Connection established. Putting them on screen. This is Captain Raymond Lawrence, aboard the Vergoldian transport vessel Aldus. State your name and affiliation. This is the Pan Galactic Federation battle cruiser, Bella Gulf. And I am its captain, Curtis Aldrich. I never expected to meet a member of the Lawrence family in the middle of nowhere like this. It's an honor. Permit me to skip the formalities, Captain Curtis. What brings you out to this middle of nowhere? We're en route to our destination and in a hurry. Though I'm not about to share any more than that with the captain of an anti-federation Vergoldian ship. Understandable. So I suppose it's just a coincidence that you happen to be heading in the same direction as the Scorpium ship that we happen to be tracking? You... how do you know of the Scorpium? We just recently engaged a Scorpium vessel, which had entered the Aster system. We've since determined that the ship was crewed by soldiers from the Federated planet of Veer. Captain Raymond, I think it may be best we exchange information. I should like to make contact with your ship. I must decline. You see, I was on board another ship, the Yetus when it was taken out by an unlawful attack from a Federation battlecruiser not too long ago. Are you referring to the Astoria? I hear it was illicitly cloaked and attacked without warning. Oh, <laughs> oh. well, if you know about that, then I assume the Astoria must already be hung out to dry. Actually, they're currently on the run. What? <gasps> The Federation's most advanced ship has gone rogue? Our ship, on the other hand, is in no such state. Transmit our logs to Vergold if you like. We have nothing to hide. We make for the site of an emergency mission. Though, at present, we could use all the information on the Scorpium that we can get. Fine. Send us a rendezvous point. We'll give you an estimated time of arrival once we figure it out on our end. Much appreciated. Wishing you a safe voyage. Over and out. Coordinates for the rendezvous point received. Our ETA is 10 hours, 57 minutes. Ray? Uh, no. Captain. I think that we can trust him. I agree. We may gain some valuable information this way. Uh, you should be more worried about getting arrested. We have no reason to trust them, or think that they have our best interests at heart. Arrested? Oh, yes. I suppose you're right. Either way, we still have 11 hours until we know for sure. All right, everyone. Let's take breaks and shifts. Um, and, uh, what of us? Right. <clears throat> Allow me this opportunity to give you all a tour of the ship. Raymond may be the captain now, but the Aldous is still my ship after all. Uh, understood. You have my thanks, Sir Antonio. 
sir. You sir me, you panty waist idiot. Ray. Hey, did my brother behave on your tour? Antonio is much more of a gentleman than you. Aw, thank you. So, what do you think of the Aldis? How should I put it? It's incredible! Uh, every last bit of it's nothing short of incredible! Every aspect of life here is like another world. No, no, another dimension. It's all so another astounding. Another I don't know where another to begin. Dimension? Another dimension? Uh, let dimension. me say this. Preventing him from wandering off whenever I look elsewhere is proving quite a difficult task. I know full well that this journey will be difficult, but it is quite thrilling to think I will experience what was spoken of in Larkis for myself. Glad to hear it. You're welcome to wander and check everything out at your leisure. Any questions, feel free to ask Antonio or myself. On that note, Chloe? Yes, Captain. If you hear a voice come out of that, do what it asks. Okay? Yes. Understood. We've prepared rooms for each of you in the living quarters. Rest up as much as you can until we rendezvous with the Vela Gulf. More sleeping. Hmm. Raymond seems like an entirely different person out here among the stars. I have investigated Captain Curtis Aldridge. The record. That Nina has been hitting me with questions left and right. Oh, please don't take that to mean you shouldn't ask away, Legisia. With things the way they are, we gotta be extra careful with figuring out who's a friend and who's not. I know now is not the best time, but. I want to think they all survived because of you. On the contrary, they are the ones. It is I who should be. To be honest, I find that I admit Ray is much more capable than I am. But saving an entire kingdom? I would be delighted if you came to visit Osarius as well. Any family of Ray's would receive a hero's welcome. Oh, <laughs> I'm nothing as big as a hero. Definitely not anyone a real princess should show reverence to. My title of princess holds no meaning out here among the stars. So, I ask that you too simply call me by my name. Ah, guess I can't say no to that. What might Marielle be up to, I wonder? She was on the bridge, last I recall. Welcome back. Take all the... An entire galaxy full of items new to the eye. <laughs> be still, my beating heart. Oh, you cute old man. Midas was poking and pulling at things over there a moment ago. He didn't why would you ask Letitia? She, why, how would she? Know? How would I know? Please, how would I know? Oh, yes, and you are. I apologize, but could I ask you to leave fresh faces around here? Marielle is concentrating fully on learning example. all she can about the Aldis. We'll soon be in close contact with another Federation battleship. She but what happened before was not Mari. It's not exactly because she's a Kenny. Mario has a hard time getting others to understand her. Things aren't easy for her. She constantly feels the need to do what's right. So in the Federation, the Kenny name is... A name so well known that most people avoid making eye contact with her altogether. Sayuri, I am sure your feelings are reaching her. I sure hope you're right. There is much yet no. Mariel does not know. Never mind myself. Too many questions with far too few answers. 
perhaps my darling Duma might offer more insight. I do believe Ray and the others are in the galley. I would like to know why you came aboard the Edis, Duma. We were dispatched to assess the integration suitability of Virgoldians. What? So the shippers we were dealing with were Scorpium? Affirmative. But the client sure seemed like a human, from what I could tell at least. The Scorpium Collective takes many forms. Some may appear entirely cybernetic. Others as cyborgs or androids. There are also those who are entirely organic in nature. Ah, great. It is freaking horrifying to know that we handled unknown cargo from unknown clients. So you're saying that if I succeeded in delivering you, all of Virgold would be Scorpium by now? Horrifying is an unfairly emotional evaluation. Integration with Scorpium is... Yeah, I don't care what you think. All right? Based on what we've seen and heard about it, that's how I feel. Deal with it. We cannot refute this statement. If Scorpium is truly acting in violation of our principles, it would be in defiance of our very existence itself. Are you confused? Do you even get confused? We cannot deny this possibility. There is a need for us to learn the truth of these events in order to carry out our mission successfully. We shall cooperate as much as possible when necessary. Oh, I'll see to it that you shall. Don't worry about that. After all, you're different from the other Duma, aren't you? Five minutes to rendezvous point. Ray, the Vela Gulf is hailing us. Put him on screen. Right on schedule, I see. I'll be on board shortly for that information exchange we mentioned. You serious? A sign of good faith from us. After we rendezvous, we'll warp out for one minute. After the transfer, we'll immediately warp back in. Maintain your course. I've just sent the data. Data received. Huh. Looks to me like there's only one person in the transfer chamber. Not exactly thrilled about their terms, but seems we've got no choice. Understood. Maintaining course and confirming that of the Vela Gulf. Transfer will commence within one minute of exiting warp. Once Captain Curtis is aboard, we shall adopt a parallel course to the Vela Gulf. Captain's coming aboard. Uh, guess it's up to me to bid him welcome. Marielle, Leticia, come on with me. I'm not too savvy when it comes to Federation etiquette. Understood. Uh, I should go too? Yeah, all you gotta do is stand there. If there's three of us, it should deter Curtis from trying any funny stuff. Very well. Gotta admit, Captain. I wasn't expecting you to come alone. It'll be easier for us to talk like this. Let's make this quick. The Vela Gulf is currently en route to the Manuk system. Captain, this emergency you mentioned. Are you Lieutenant Marielle El Kenny? There's a warrant out for your arrest, you know. I am aware of that and ready. We can explain all that and more in this intel exchange. First things first, though. Can I offer you a cup of freshly brewed Terran coffee? Don't mind if I do. Goodness. To think such a thing took place in the Aster system. So, what is it that has you rushing off to the Manuk system? Manuk is currently under siege by a large fleet of Scorpium ships. Headquarters interprets it as a full-scale invasion. Ridiculous. That is impossible. I've been wondering about this. A Duma, I presume. 
You know about Duma? We've been gathering information on our end as well. The Duma are the ones proselytizing the Scorpium's integration ideology, correct? Affirmative. Scorpium is a being that seeks to evolve as a life form. Aggressive incursions are nothing more than an act that limits our evolutionary choices. Now it seems the Scorpium are no monolithic entity. The faction currently attacking the Manuk system are known as the Centralists. Centralists? Ray, do you think? Yep, Centralists. That's the name Boldor mentioned on the Tyrannus. The entirety of Scorpion is composed of individuals linked without partiality. A central being cannot exist within our system. And yet Manuk is under siege by Scorpion calling themselves Centralists. How did Headquarters come by this intel? You know, Captain, it hasn't been that long since I left the Astoria, yet there seems to be too much new information. Hmm. Yeah, there must be some connection between the Scorpium and the Federation higher-ups. Fleet Headquarters, specifically. Your assumption is correct. A significant number of fleet officers have broken off from the chain of command. Most of them were in contact at some point with the Scorpium on the planet of Veer. Headquarters decided to launch a rescue effort in the Manuk system. It's unclear who's friend and who's foe within HQ, however. We may even be following a Scorpium directive. And even if that is the case, you can't just abandon them, huh? Captain Curtis, the Aldous is in possession of Scorpium data compiled by a soldier who escaped from Veer. We are currently pursuing the Scorpium ship that came to Aster 4. I'd like you to analyze that data and identify the ship in question once we reach the Manuk system. This is invaluable intel. We're in your debt. Yeah, no worries. Just reimburse me for the Yidis once this is all over and we'll be square. I'll see what I can do. Thank you for your time. I'll get back in contact as soon as we've identified the ship that you're after. We've exited warp. Commencing transfer. Please be careful. You as well. The Vela Gulf has sent us a location. ETA to the Manuk system is 25 hours. Exactly six hours behind the Vela Gulf. Don't sweat about what he said. The larger an organization, the easier it is to corrupt. Captain, please don't make light of it. Even a single ship deviating from the chain of command is cause for alarm. If all of these ships are under the influence of Scorpium, then the risk to the entire galaxy is very real. I too find something strange about all this. What do you mean? Little Duma's reaction. I also felt that what Captain Curtis told us did not line up correctly with what we heard from Lola. She stated that the Scorpium invading her home were acting in such a way as to avoid detection. I did not get the impression that it was attacked outright in the same way as this Manuk location is being attacked now. I think Lola's hunch may be right about Scorpium having infiltrated the Federation undetected. But isn't Duma also a part of Scorpium? It must be hiding something. Little Duma always remains silent when they wish to be deceptive. When they do speak, it is generally free of falsehood. This is why their assertion that Scorpium does not invade must be true. Right, Duma? Correct. Duma's the only link we have to understanding the Scorpium. We analyzed the data from the Tyrannus. 
but we still have almost no idea of who or what the Scorpium are. We won't learn much of anything until we confront them ourselves. As I discussed with Captain Curtis, it's most likely that the Scorpium faction attacking Manuk are in cahoots with the ship Boldorizon. In cahoots. The Vela Gulf has kindly agreed to help us track it down. I have detected other unidentified ships also approaching the Manuk system, where the Scorpium battleship is heading. However, support from the Federation is still far away. The Vela Gulf, Aldis, and Manuk fleet will have to handle this alone. So what you are implying is that it will be a difficult battle. That is correct. What will you do if Boldor is aboard that ship, and we find ourselves forced into combat with it? All I can say is that we should be ready for anything, even if it means taking them out. It would seem war is much the same here in the stars as it is in our world. Yep, you got that right. Which is exactly why I want you all to rest up before we reach the combat zone. I had best rest up myself. Bridge here. What is it, boy? Hangar Bay. Trouble. Come in, Hangar what Bay. What did you say? <laughs> that is serious. Just one of them all on board the ship. A top shot. Atta boy, and... When it's time to rest. We don't have a day-night cycle here in space, so you have to keep track of your bedtime, Leticia. Simply delightful. The Vela Gulf has reached the Manuk system. They have made contact with what appear to be two Scorpion ships. They are engaging in battle. All available hands to the bridge. It seems the battle has begun. Best quickly make my way to the bridge. Status report. The Manuk fleet has already suffered heavy losses. They only have three vessels deployed currently, none of which have been able to attack effectively. Can you tell me, Ray, why is this Manuk fleet so inferior? Even up here in space, some folks have the technological leg up on others. Another Scorpion battleship is nearing the Manuk system. ETA, two hours, three minutes. How long until the Aldis arrives? Two hours, eleven minutes. However, we could become embroiled in battle at any time. I'm sure we'll be fine. Pew. Captain, update. We will arrive in the Manuk system in six minutes. The Vela Gulf has disabled one of the Scorpion vessels. They are currently in combat with two ships, including the one that arrived shortly before us. Way to go, Captain Curtis. Battleships sure are on a different level, aren't they? Captain, the Vela Gulf is hailing us. Putting on screen now. Vela Gulf to Aldis. We only have eight torpedoes left. Hardly enough to take out these last two ships. We're going to focus on stalling them. Can you cover us? You can count on it. We'll be pulling into your sector in three minutes. Much appreciated. Vela Gulf out. 
The two ships engaged with the Vela Gulf are now designated as Scorpion Ship Bravo and Scorpion Ship Charlie. Warp out directly into the orbital path between the Vela Gulf and Scorpion Ship Bravo. Trajectory set. Red alert. Deploy full defensive shields. Set to Omni. Load all six proton torpedo launchers. Arm the phase cannons. Red alert. All hands to battle stations. Shields at full. Proton torpedoes loaded. Phase cannons initialized. Everyone get to your seats and strap in. It's about to get bumpy. Currently maintaining distances of 500,000 kilometers with Bravo and 760,000 with Charlie. Fire three torpedoes at Bravo and immediately reroute to course 60 Mark 0. Proton torpedoes away. Impact in 11 minutes. The Vela Gulf has also launched a torpedo at Bravo. Charlie has just fired four torpedoes at us. Activate auto evasion. Activating auto evasion. Ah, it's shaking! Keep quiet. You might bite your tongue otherwise. Three of the torpedoes will miss, but one cannot be avoided. Brace for impact. hit. Shields at 76%. Restoring them now. The, the rumbling is like an earthquake. We get any hits in? All three torpedoes failed to connect. How could they miss at that interval? What sort of ship is that? Damn it! Open a channel to the Vela Gulf! Channel open! Captain, follow this. Can you handle this? We'll make it work. Just go! Set phase cannons to fire simultaneously on both Bravo and Charlie. Program salvo burst to fire automatically in 10 second intervals on these coordinates. Understood. Divert to course 270, mark 180. Match the movements of the Vela Gulf. Roger, Captain. I'll do my best. Distance between Bravo and Charlie is 100,000 kilometers. Both ships are taking evasive action. Now, hit Bravo with all we've got! Two torpedoes have hit. Bravo has ceased turning. The Bella Gulf's attacks on Charlie also landed. Bullseye! Bravo and Charlie are on a collision course. Scorpion ships Bravo and Charlie have collided. Both battleships appear to have been immobilized. <laughs> yeah! <sighs> <sighs> oh, God. Hmm. Did... did we win? For now. Don't get out of your seat just yet, though. We don't know what's still out there. Captain, the Bella Gulf is hailing us. Excellent work, Captain Raymond. Thanks, but, uh, it was the Vela Gulf that did all the heavy lifting. We just came in to steal the show. The real work starts now. What do you intend to do? We're gonna board one of the Scorpion <clears throat> ships with Duma and investigate inside. Understood. They may be quiet now, but you're likely to face some strong opposition. Be careful. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. For sure. And I trust you got our back if anything happens. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me which ship is the one that came from Aster? Is it Bravo or Charlie? Uh, don't tell me it was the ship that went down before we even got here. It is fortunate we have the data from Lola. Bravo is the one we seek. So we're boarding the Scorpion battleship. Yep, you got it. Let's make our way over there now. Transfer chamber. 
Oh, I simply wanted to try saying it. Did I do so correctly? Transfer chamber. And these? Portable optic deflectors. You can wear these to protect yourself from portable optical weaponry equivalent to a Federation phase gun. Hmm. I see. Wait, pray. What exactly does all that mean? <coughs> it means that even if you're hit by a glowing gun, like the one Marielle was using, it won't kill you. But that's not a complete guarantee, so don't get too cocky. Note that it also offers defense from physical attacks, such as bullets or knives. Finally, please attach these magnetic soles to your footwear. You can switch them on and off by touching your heels. Indeed. Being free of gravity's shackles ought to be fun. Do not even think of wandering off. this what why am i upside down everyone please remain calm turn your feet toward that surface there and touch your heels uh, okay like this <sighs> so this is the inside of a scorpion ship huh which means we're in the belly of a living creature it certainly does have that appearance. Rather unnerving. Where could Boldor be on a ship like this? If he's even still alive. All these... They were on this ship. We must hurry. If more Scorpium arrive, there's no telling what could happen. Strange. This vessel is... What's up? Ray, I am picking up multiple life signs ahead. Many of the Scorpium do not possess detectable life signs. I suggest exercising caution. Look, we could probably get through there. Is everyone prepared? As you will. Sighted. I shall guard your friend. In the of this vessel is not particularly different than a normal scorpion. It falls to me! different from each other the forms of life integrated into scorpion are not limited only to humanoids hold the damn phone isn't that a federation soldier's uniform it also belongs to a high-ranking officer what does this mean we can worry about that later This proves things aren't looking good for the Federation underbelly. This raises the likelihood that the Centralist Scorpium have had direct influence on the Federation. An F 
excellent find. So strong. A dead end. We should search the area. Never know what useful stuff we might happen on. Excellent find. Excellent find. Ori Calcum. Getting through this way. Better try somewhere else.
at me hey we might be able to move this junk here with a little oomph Wait, isn't this just where I was at? This is just where I was at. Seems to be some infighting. Ridiculous. Impossible. To deny something occurring in front of us? It doesn't match you. They also have Federation officer uniforms. <sighs> Must... Victory is over the hours. Acceleration is low. Energy levels low. Energy levels low. The Scorpion? Are you with Pangalactic Federation pursuers fighting in this system? And what if we are? We are not your foe. We do not wish to fight either. I beg of you, do with me as you will. But please, save the rest. The rest? Atisia! Um, behind it! You are protecting these people? From other Scorpium? The Centralist must not be allowed to have them. These are refugees of war who have lost their homes. Please, you must help them. And why should we believe I want that guy. You? you mean to say that the Centralist Scorpium do in fact exist? Aha! Duma! This will make things easy. It is hard to accept, but it would appear we must acknowledge the existence of the Centralist faction. What is the matter? 
The Scorpium that refer to themselves as centralists are in rebellion against the existing network. They are attacking those the existing network has deemed suitable and assimilating them by force. This vessel was headed for a Scorpium colony, carrying those people behind me. However, the ones we took aboard on Aster Four summoned the Centralists and we were dragged into this conflict. You refer to Bulldor, Valange, and Gaston. Wait a minute. So those two Veer were Centralists all along? Though Centralists, they are still Scorpion. It is merely a difference of thinking. They initially sought rescue simply because they lacked the means of reaching space. We responded out of a desire to aid our comrades. And because of that, all these people are now embroiled in a war? It's unforgivable. But this one is Scorpium too. And it's assimilating a large number of innocents into its collective. Fate was fair, it seems. It appears you have deemed integration into Scorpio as something malevolent. You are saying it is not? At least in my case, it was a means of survival. I became one with Scorpio by my own choice and that of no one else. There are countless others aside from myself whose lives were saved by integration as well. Ha, huh, well that was unexpected. Regardless, this vessel is doomed. I ask once more that you at least save these people behind me. I am going to put a stop to those who commandeered this ship. They are a danger to the Scorpium network. What do you want to do? Let's help. We're able to reason with him. And... He can tell us more about the Scorpion. Right? Please? Fine. So be it. You, uh, got a name, bud? Please, call me JJ. All right, JJ. We'll do all we can to help you out. But, in exchange, I want you to tell us everything about the Scorpion. Thank you. Whoa, whoa! I must paint a strange picture, bowing before you in this body. However, let this be proof that I remain still an individual, though I bear the form you now see. You have my heartfelt gratitude for saving the lives of my friends. Uh, what exactly is happening here? I'm sorry that this is all I can That was a fine collection of wares. <laughs> Thought you could get me! An excellent find. Find. 
Why is there a ship? Like this. With we still got time before the ship goes oh. down, yeah? We've got business to take care of. Get I promise you we'll come back with you. This has to take priority. We've handled all the enemies in the area, so they should be safe here for the moment. Roger that. Very well. To the bridge. That's where you'll find it. Smooth, slick. information do we have on those who took over the ship? Oh, well, there's... It appears they are up ahead. We should ready ourselves before we make a move. Trust this I'll to me. To this. An excellent find. Where are we looking? Excellent find. Baldor! Balanche, Gaston. Well, well, Princess Leticia. I did not expect you would dare to follow us all this way. Baldor, what have you done? Integration, my child. My power now exceeds imagining. It is no small wonder there are so many scorpions spread throughout the universe. But how? I am certain that man was not integrated when he first came aboard. There was still some time until our escort from Central would arrive, so we had him added to the network a tad early. From the wedding? The Emperor was most impressive. His integration went flawlessly. Baldor, what is it you hope to bring about with this power? As an Emperor, it is only natural to desire peace and prosperity for my people. Halcyon days lie ahead for the subjects of Vale in all of Aster IV through Scorpium integration. Our planet will be connected, one network, one beating heart, free of war and suffering. And you would still call them people? Yes. Nevertheless, I cannot allow Centralist Scorpion to bring such a thing to pass. Bulldor! Aster IV is not ready for this power from the stars. I shall end your ambitions here. I suffer no fool. I see you yet need convincing. You. you may rest assured I have no desire to kill you. Nay, my sweet beloved daughter, 
deliverance. Integration awaits as does peace without an end at Scorpio. As will you all. Strong indeed, Scorpion Warrior. Absurd. How can he be so strong so soon after integration? Yeah, no kidding. He's on a completely different level than other Scorpion. Emergency communication from the Vela Gulf. Ray, the Astoria is approaching Scorpion ship Bravo at high speed. The Astoria? Those bastards love to hide. Get out of there, Ray. They're gonna fight. It would seem we are done here. Yes, it would. Our escort from Central has arrived. The Astoria is connected with the Centralists? Would knowing that change anything? This ship will be destroyed, along with your own. Colonel Valange, is this truly what you desire? Lola lives. She awaits your return. There's... No going back for me. I am truly sorry, Princess Leticia. I find myself unable to save you. Voldor! Damn it! It's the Astoria. They're changing course. And they've locked onto us. We can't shake them! Ants, run! No! Stop! Please! Chloe, transfer all detectable life signs aboard this ship. JJ, grab onto me. The Bella Gulf has engaged the Astoria. Captain Curtis, you saved our bacon. We only escaped thanks to you. Don't think you're out of the weeds just yet. 
The Astoria seems to have it out for you. Get out of here while we hold them off. The Federation should be the ones to atone for all this. Son of a bitch! Get us out of the Manuk system at max warp! All hands, brace for warp speed! Wait! We must help them! There's nothing we can do if we stay! The Captain's efforts will be in vain! Entering emergency warp. Course 180. Mark 180. <coughs> Engines at maximum. No signs of pursuit. We have successfully escaped the Manuk system. Captain Curtis. What do we do now, Ray? JJ. I heard you say that Scorpium ship was an evacuation vessel. Can we have civil discussions with other non-centralist Scorpium like you? There are no hostile Scorpium among those who saved I and my comrades. What the hell are you talking about? That ship attacked the Akizuki! Only because your own vessel acted in a way that the Scorpium network deemed hostile. You were hiding and waiting for your chance to strike. That was a mistake in Scorpium's judgment. <laughs> hey, you know the coordinates of your destination? Don't tell me you're thinking of going straight to their base. We've lost Boldor and the others. We don't know whether the Vela Gulf survived. The Aldis can only sustain these evacuees for a couple days at most. Do we really have any other options? If you will give us passage to the colony, we of the Scorpion can promise to welcome the Aldus with open arms and with peace. JJ is not lying. I recommend cooperating with them in our investigation of these Centralists. Is your colony a Scorpium too? And where the hell is it? It is a Scorpium construct in the form of a colony. You will find it 700 light years from here. There's no way we can travel that far. We can arrive swiftly if we pass through the wormhole 6.2 light years from here. Can you input the coordinates of the wormhole? Yes, a wormhole does indeed exist at this point. If we travel through it, we will reach the colony within 24 hours. We possess the key to the wormhole. The Aldis is now en route to the Scorpium colony. We're bringing the refugees home. My thanks. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. I wonder if our new companion is in his living quarters. There is much I wish to ask. Looks like there's a little bit more than I expected. In the game, so I think it'll be another well, session before I like finish, but we're going to play a little idea. bit more. Yes. I'd like to learn as much from JJ as I can. But I'm not quite sure how exactly to ask. If there is something you need, then please enter. There you go. Captain Raymond, thank you once again for offering us your protection. I am truly grateful. Don't worry about it. Actually, I came hoping you might tell us more about the Scorpion. Has Duma told you nothing? Mainly general information. However, we have never had the chance to speak with someone who became a part of the Scorpium directly. You wish to know if Scorpium is your enemy? Mm-hmm. Correct. I saw a great many of my comrades that had been integrated beyond the point of recognition on the ship where we met you. Then how did you recognize them? They were unquestionably hostile not only towards me, but towards Raymond and Leticia as well. 
But then, we found you fighting to protect all those refugees. Is that not normal? Normal? They had their objectives and acted to remove any irregularities in its completion. Which in this case would be all of you. I, too, had my own objective and sought your help to achieve it. Um, well, yes, that is all true, I suppose. But is Scorpion... A monstrous invader that transforms people into something they are not? That's how it seems to me. The same mistaken belief prevailed on my home planet as well. The belief that those who merged with Scorpion became creatures so utterly alien that they were incapable of conscious thought. But this is not the case. Am I myself not proof of this as I stand before you? So you, uh, Scorpium, are basically just robots or androids, maybe cyborgs? I would contend that none of those terms accurately describe my current state. I am a humanoid that has almost fully physically integrated with Scorpion. But why would you do that? To evolve. Duma said that too, but is it evolution to turn your body all mechanical? Conversion of the organic body is the process, not the means. The unified purpose brought forth by integration with Scorpion is connection with the Scorpion network that spans this vast galaxy. So you plug humans into this network? The Duma that came to my world also phrased many things in a way that invited misunderstanding. It is a concept that is easily grasped after integration, but difficult to comprehend prior to that. I believe that the evolution I gained through integration with Scorpion can be found here, and also here. Many different organic life forms join with Scorpion, but at least for we humanoids, history has proven that evolution of the mind and heart is possible, has it not? I know these ideas are not easy to comprehend. I alone am not capable of conveying them properly, and I also understand the feelings of those who find Scorpion difficult to accept. However, I would not have lived a full life had I not gained this body. Thus, I have not even one iota of regret. All I ask is that you at least understand this. Very well. I don't get it, though. What about those Federation officers? <sighs> There's gotta be something we're missing. We're really gonna have to open our minds if we want to wrap our heads around any of this. You mean to say that what we know is limited by what we have seen? And we are yet to understand the full extent of what has happened. Yeah, exactly. You're getting all of this pretty quick, Leticia. Well, you have proven to be quite the teacher. All of this has given me a headache. <sighs> I'm going to go get some rest. All this talk of the incomprehensible has left me quite fatigued. Perhaps I ought to take a moment to rest. Best not turn down a chance. Simply delightful. Mm, yes, delightful. We have arrived at the wormhole. Everyone is to report to the bridge immediately. 
I must say, I find myself unable to picture what sorts of worms might dig holes through the skies. I ought make for the bridge and find out. To the transport room. Come to think of it, uh, how does one use a wormhole? It's not the same as warp, right? There should be a Scorpium space-time stabilizer affixed to the edge of the wormhole. How do you affix something to a wormhole? Ah, that thing. There it is. We need you to access it and send the code in the specified format. I should do it? Can you do it, Elena? I will try. Displaying coordinates to screen. Acquiring destination. Sending. Preparations are complete. You may now enter the wormhole in conventional space. All right. Keep the thrusters at half power as we head in. Entering the wormhole at half thrust. Booty. <sighs> Well, that sent a chill down my spine. Man, if we can start jumping through space like this, we wouldn't even need warp drives anymore. There are only five stable wormholes within the entirety of Scorpion's range in this galactic system. They do not allow for travel to unexplored space. The warp drive is a necessary technology for the evolution of life and humanoid races. The evolution of humanoid races, huh? Hmm. The end of the wormhole is coming up ahead. What the? We're at the end? Now exiting the wormhole. Space-time readings are showing major discrepancies. Recalibrating sensors now. Did, uh, we get through without a hitch? Calibration complete. Our current position is Sector Beta, 713 light years from our position prior to entering the wormhole. <sighs> Seriously? Long range sensors detect an object equivalent to a space colony 2.1 light years from here. This is one of the colony form Scorpium constructs and the destination of JJ. It is named Parapium. You may proceed forward. The colony has a suitable space dock for entry. So based on what you've said, that dock and this whole colony is all part of Scorpium. Correct. You've got to be kidding me. Marielle, can you go wind up JJ and uh, I'd feel a lot more comfortable if he was here as we go in. Understood. Hello? I've communicated with Parapium. You may use the dock, or transfer, if that is to your preference. A port has been opened specifically for the Aldus. So no danger, right? There is no Scorpium here who view the Aldus as an enemy. The Aldus is welcomed. There is nothing to fear. But fear itself. Gotcha. Yeah, it'd be pretty lame to turn around and chicken out at this point. Let's go, everyone. Indeed. I dare say we will be fine. Yeah, exactly.
is another world. No, another planet. This environment was made in a planet's image, I believe. Both ends of the terrain rise if looked at closely. I believe this colony is shaped as a colossal ring. Shaped like a ring? But why? Most likely the rotation produces artificial gravity. The fact that we do not seem to need these devices attached to our feet proves this. Indeed. A gravity generator like those found on spaceships would be most inefficient to maintain gravity in a structure as massive as this. What is this gravity you speak of? Do we really have to start from all the way there? <sighs> How can I put this in terms you would understand? Let's talk about this later. What happens from here? Shots fired. You will undergo an entry procedure alongside the evacuees. It is as simple as taking an image of your face. So please, put yourself at ease. Is this in any way connected to integration? I can assure you, it is not. The choice to integrate always lies with the organic life form. Scorpion will never force integration. Gotcha. Well, when in Robot Rome, do as the Robot Romans do, I guess. Say cheese! That's not what I want. I assumed I would move somewhere else. So. I was wrong. Oh, okay. that makes sense. That makes sense. Treasure. Target sighted. I need to go. Take my picture, bro. Ah, downstairs. At ease. You will have no problems here. We register over there. Welcome to Parapium. Are you here to integrate? Uh, no, we, uh... They merely wish to learn. They have no plans to integrate at the moment. However, as reported earlier, some of the evacuees I have brought do seek to integrate. Yes, sir. Their requests have been confirmed. However, something wrong. The integration plant is operating at reduced efficiency, so there will be delays. In the meantime, any guest requiring immediate attention will be sent to the medical center. Why is the plant operating at reduced efficiency? The plant's administrative network is currently under attack by a faction of Scorpium calling themselves centralists. Until we can fully eradicate their presence, it is possible they may interfere with results, hence the facility's limited output. Centralists! Under attack! Are we in danger here? No, they are not physically present. Simply put, it is an unauthorized breach of our network. 
Rest assured that all of Parapium is fortified against attacks. Uh, so what you're saying is that no one will be hurt? Absolutely correct. Your concern is very much appreciated. Oh, gotcha. Well, then that's fine, I guess. If a Scorpium network is attacking another Scorpium network, the schism truly exists. In any case, please be at ease and enjoy your stay in Parapium. The Scorpium network welcomes you all favorably. Favorably. Be my Valentine, Scorpion gonna take. It's just a city. A normal, boring city. You consider this to be normal? Each and every single building here is as large as a keep. Hey, JJ, you're not really telling me all those buildings and everything are Scorpion. Even the benches? An astute observation. They most certainly are. Seriously? <laughs> oh, come on! Forgive me. I did not think you would take it seriously. I do not mean to laugh at you. <laughs> uh, but you're still laughing. <sighs> I just don't understand it. Many from my home bore expressions similar to your own. What? They doubted whether the laughter, sadness, and anger shown by those integrated with Scorpion were actual emotions. Oh, uh, sorry, that was not my intent. Fear is an instinctual reaction to the unknown in all living things. No, I don't understand this city, the Scorpion we saw in the Manuk system, you. Well, ah, I believe I have a solution, Duma. Tell me, does Parapium have a learning facility? It does. Learning facility? A facility that offers a simulated experience of integration for those yet undecided in whether they wish to join the network. It allows visitors to share Scorpium's journey and experience our accumulated insight across the vast expanses of space. How interesting. Can you escort us there? Of course, or so I would like to say, but this is also my first therapy. Has there ever been a place so marvelous? I do hope no one minds if I meander just a bit. Surely it would not be much of an issue if I were simply to take the scenic route to this learning facility. like a bunch of moves the bear would you like to try using them are you certain it's not it is safer than a fight simulator you have let not. us try it there is still far that is true and it'll get us further than asking Duma questions and getting the cold shoulder anyway. The use of the learning facility requires an introduction by an integrated guide. So I shall accompany you. Understood. Okay, thank you. learning facility conjured images akin to a library in my head but this is I will admit that reading texts remains an effective method of learning but this facility is slightly different
Welcome to Perapium. In this city, you can learn many things that will help you to understand the concept of Scorpium integration. Oh, um, what am I meant to do? Here, all integration candidates and organic life forms uncertain of integration can learn all there is to know of the Scorpium. Do not hesitate to ask questions. Very well then. Um... Please tell me, why does Scorpium require integration? As a means of evolution. Evolution? To what end? That is a difficult question to answer succinctly. Evolution occurs naturally and is essential for the preservation of a particular species. For Scorpion, integration is a process that allows us to prosper across the universe. Integration serves to benefit both the individual and the whole, and as a method of preserving our species. For the benefit of the individual, I should like to know, what exactly is Scorpium? Scorpium are a collective of cybernetic life forms, which are not carbon or silicone based. This is in spite of our original anatomies, which differ considerably from our current post-integrated forms. So it is a machine that lives, but is that truly a living being? Based on Scorpium's observation of life forms with differing perspectives that have collectively formed societies, life is defined by a group of similar organisms who share the same physical composition. Therefore, yes, we do consider ourselves to be life forms. I think I understand, and yet... I cannot think of anything else. Huh? It would seem the information has been updated. Um... That red unit has apparently been collecting information on the centralists. I still have much to learn about them myself. So this presents an ideal opportunity. Try asking a question. Uh, um... <clears throat> okay, God. don't be a stranger! <laughs> Sorry, another time. Sorbet? Do you not want to know about my bunny steak dream? Can you tell me about the Centralist Scorpium? They are an offshoot network newly generated along the Scorpium evolutionary line. At present, there are 17.74 million individuals recognized as belonging to the Centralists. This network shares a programmed cognition that endorses deviating from the traditional means of Scorpium evolution. Our analysis is still underway, but for those who seek to integrate with the aforementioned group, we warn the network has reached a consensus that affiliation with the Centralists is not recommended. We continue to gather information on the matter. I learned about the Centralists, so once I have spoken with JJ, I think we should leave. What criteria determine whether anyone who wishes to integrate is able to and depending on the subject's condition prior to integration, 
The process can be performed in stages, up to the for integration candidates who come to Parapium, it will take at least a day and up to a week to complete the process. Conversely, when research probes are sent by the network to seek new paths of evolution, they analyze groups of prospective lifeforms and provide feedback to the network in regards to those who can contribute towards evolution. And the entire network then weighs in on the final decision. <clears throat> what position does little Duma, uh, excuse me, the Duma, occupy in Scorpium? When Scorpium Network determines that its current evolutionary path has stagnated, it sets out in search of new organic life forms to help spur along the evolutionary process. With Duma, the network is able to blend into and observe societies without arousing suspicion. After observing various societies of people and incorporating itself into their daily lives, if the network's knowledge expands exponentially, guess what happens? Hey, let's join hands and integrate, we say. Have you heard enough? I think so. Yeah, my head is spinning. Well, my lack of knowledge of many of the basic concepts meant I only grasped half of what I heard. Am I correct in assuming that the Centralists are a faction that has emerged within the network and brought about infighting amongst the Scorpium? A state of internal strife should never be possible in the first place. Ah, you're really hung up on that, aren't you? If the Scorpium are living beings, then it's totally possible that they'd fight amongst each other. The origins of Scorpium as a life form lay in seeking out and sharing the potential for all manner of evolution. If factions or contradictory ideas were to arise, the conflict itself would be shared to nourish further evolution. That is Scorpium. This evolutionary prospect would then have been pruned as an issue with the fundamental algorithm. Yet this evolution has come to pass, so is it truly impossible, little Duma? It should be. Honestly, I feel the same as Duma. That is why the actions of these centralists are all the more puzzling. I am certain those at the integration plant feel the same. What could Bulldor and the others be hoping to achieve in becoming Centralist Scorpium? Oh no! What was that? From outside! Im impossible! A Centralist attack? What? It's been shared on the network. Centralist Scorpium are forcing their way into Parapium from the dock. Ugh. It appears Parapium itself is under attack from outside. That's... <sighs> That's the Astoria! It frickin' followed us here? No, it is going in that direction. That is the way to the integration plant. Could they be planning to destroy it? Ray, did you see the Astoria? Just now, yeah. Looks like it's headed for the integration plant. We need to regroup. Albert and the others have moved to fight against the invading Centralists. To protect the citizens of Parapium. Roger that. We're gonna meet up with Elena and the others first. Let's go. Surprise me. Guess they don't care about rolling out the Duma if they're invading their own kind and not another planet. Either way, 
There's no doubt the Astoria has been closely tied with the Centralists for a long time now. But how is that? There is much to be The network is conducting a multitude of complex analyses right now. You are unharmed. Oh, finally. Got tired of dawdling? So many are injured. We have to treat them fast or it'll be too late. Wait a second. That Scorpion miss... Marielle. They know what they are doing is wrong. Yet they... They have chosen to blindly follow orders all the same. <sighs> they have long since passed the point of reason. If we are to right their misdeeds, we must fight. I understand. Get cut. They don't look like insufficient output. I must catch my breath. No longer. Warning. Up. Energy levels low. Destroy. Cut them to ribbons. We must up. not lose. We live to fight another day. It would seem our defense of this district was successful. Yes, but the fighting at the plant is still raging. Many there have yet to undergo integration and are still wholly organic. We... we have to go help the inhabitants of Parapium. I cannot let the Astoria's crimes go unchecked any longer. Even if it means facing your former comrades and superiors, Marielle. Mm-hmm. Albert, thank you. You have opened my eyes. I am now prepared to fight. Any doubts are gone now. After seeing all this, it's clear that Captain Bennett is in the wrong. Precisely. The Edis needs to be avenged as well. Marielle, is it cool if I introduce Astoria's captain to my fist? Of course. JJ. May I ask you to guide us there? Gladly. It pains me that you have all been drawn into this unfortunate conflict. The plant is vast, so I expect our opponents will be many. Make sure to prepare accordingly. The integration plant is over on the northern side. I suggest we prepare to leave. Do a barrel roll. Box, your father would be so proud. We apologize for stating there was no danger in Parapium. It was our error in not accepting the concept of the Centralists and... That construction there is the integration plant. Not even I could tell you what awaits inside. Oh shit, there's a Prepare boss. Yourself. Oops. They will regret their interference. Warning. 
My blind side attack. All right, we're not gonna go in here. So, um, I looked at a little uh, walkthrough of like the things that we have. Uh, let's see. I have to do this pair of PM, which we just did. Integration planet, a plant, Pladernia museum, world cleanup, Scorpion Spire, Scorpion Network. So we've got about five little sections left. Um, which is probably doable in one more session. So that's what we'll shoot for. We'll shoot for the lucky number, uh, excuse me, lucky number 15 to, to close it out. Um, thanks for watching today's video of the video of, uh, Star Ocean. Uh, like I said, the second half is so much like Xeno Gears or, uh, Xeno Saga. It's kind of crazy good i you know i didn't necessarily feel super well today so just being able to watch videos is pretty neat and um looking to, to finish this maybe tomorrow uh maybe next week but should be done soon and then uh we'll be on to another game so thanks everybody for watching we'll catch you in the next video